We're gonna film right Mondays. I'm talking to a camera, which in the future will be people watching what was recorded on this camera. That's what's happening. First question, are you very self-critical? And if you are, how do you deal with it? Oh, absolutely. In every project, you cycle between hating yourself and being excited, hating the idea, loving it, hating what you shot, loving what you shot. You do your first edit, and that's usually where you, when you hate yourself the absolute most. The first rough cut is always the moment where you're like, I am the worst. I'm never gonna make it in this industry. People are gonna realize I'm a big fat hack. I'm terrible. But then you, you keep finding it, you do several drafts, and then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, it's not so bad after all. Then you put it online, and then a bunch of people are like, oh, I love it, it's great. And you're like, yes, people like it. And then one person says, I don't like it. And then that's when you're like, I am the worst filmmaker in existence. No one will ever love me. Everybody hates my short film. Even if it could be like 99% of the people like it, and just 1% of the people don't, and that's all that you think about. You just, everybody hates my work. How do you deal with it? I just keep making things. It, everything in filmmaking boils down to passion. And I think it, you need to be so passionate, like I always say, that you would rather live out of your car under a bridge than not do it. And when you have that level of passion, nothing stops you. You just keep going forward. This is such a difficult industry all the way around uh, that you really do need that intense passion to, to really get anywhere. What's your favorite camera? I don't have a favorite camera. We've talked about this before too. It's all a matter of what I'm working on. What am I using the camera for? And then I have a favorite camera for that thing. So if I'm doing a short film, uh, my favorite camera would probably be the Alexa Mini right now, followed by the Red Epic. If I'm shooting Film Riot, my favorite cameras are the C100 and C300. If I am traveling and I need to take a camera with me while I'm traveling to grab things, that would probably be the Sony a7S II, uh, just because it's small, it's compact, you can travel easily with it, and it's great with low light, so if I'm in a sticky situation that I gotta knock something out and there's not a ton of light, that's the camera to go to. So it's all about what am I shooting, and then and I pick from there. How metal is Film Riot? Uh, it's pretty metal. When is it considered too late to enter the film industry? Never? Yeah, I'm gonna go with never. I mean, you, you definitely have a leg up if you start early on because you're a young kid, you don't have responsibilities, you can live on ramen noodles and you know crash on friends' couches and things like that. When you're older, you usually have a family, um, and more responsibilities and bills and what have you, so it makes it more difficult, but never. If you have a passion for something, just go, I keep saying passion a lot lately, but yes, passion should drive everything. And if you have the passion for it, just go for it. You never know. Last question. Hey Ryan, someone told me I should not make videos anymore. How do I deal with negativity and have you ever dealt with this before? First of all, whoever said that is kind of a douchebag and you should completely ignore them and tell them I said they were a douchebag. You can't take people's negativity. Constructive criticism is one thing. You need that. You need people to criticize your work in a constructive way, tell you when it's not very good, uh, and, and give you ideas of how it could be better, why they think it's not good. That's how you grow. You need that stuff. But just straight up negativity, you just got to ignore that stuff and keep going. You have to remember that pretty much every great filmmaker of our time or probably any time had someone telling them that they couldn't do it, that they should stop, that they should do something else, that they need a backup plan or do this as a hobby or whatever, but they kept pursuing it because of their passion. They couldn't not do it. They had to do it. So if you have that passion, just keep going, man. No one made their first thing and it was good. So you just got to keep after it. And I know specifically two people that are doing major productions right now, both of which I know for sure um, had different situations where they were told pretty much the same thing as you and were discouraged, but they kept pushing and now they're insanely successful. I won't say their names because I'm not gonna air their laundry, but just take that as inspiration that that has happened to everyone. If you have the passion for filmmaking, just keep moving forward. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, or innovator, Domain.com is the place to go when the next idea hits you. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you're taking the first steps in creating an identity and vision for your brand or idea. The world's top two premier and most recognized domain extensions are .com and .net, which means those are the ones that are going to help you build your brand and expand your presence online the best. Of course, Domain.com is reliable, affordable, and easy to use. And to show you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices. When you get domain names, web hosting, and email, just use the coupon code FILMRIGHT at Domain.com's checkout. And when you think domain names, think domain.com.
Logo. So that's it for today, which means it's time for my suggestion of the week. And that is Hans Zimmer's Masterclass because it's out and I bought it and it's amazing. And I love Hans Zimmer. It does cost like a hundred bucks, I think. So it's not free. So for a free suggestion of the week, check the notes below for a documentary online about Hans Zimmer because I love him oh so much. And until next week, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.